The plasma membrane or the cell membrane provides protection for a cell. It also provides a fixed environment inside the cell. And that membrane has several different functions. One is to transport nutrients into the cell and also to transport toxic substances out of the cell. Another is that the membrane of the cell, which would be the plasma membrane, will have proteins on it which interact with other cells. Those proteins can be glycoproteins, meaning there's a sugar and protein moiety, or they could be lipid proteins, meaning that there's a fat and a protein. And those proteins which sticks outside of the plasma membrane will allow for one cell to interact with another cell. The cell membrane also provides some structural supports for a cell. And there are different types of plasma membranes in different types of cells. And the plasma membrane has in it, in general, a lot of cholesterol as its lipid component. That's different from certain other membranes from within the cell. Now, there are different plants and different microbes, such as bacteria and algae, which have different protected mechanisms. In fact, they have a cell wall outside of them. And the cell wall is much tougher and is structurally more sound than a plasma membrane is. The modules we were given this week, as well as the PBL activity, aided in increasing my knowledge of our cells, specifically the cell membrane and its structure. After completing the modules and the PBL activity, I learned a lot of things about cells in general, how mitosis and meiosis works and the difference between those two, and the structure of the cell membrane. I also learned about the parts of the cell membrane and how they function. This week's module, along with the PBL activity, was focused on the topic of cell membrane. At first, I had a hard time understanding the lessons in the module, but after brainstorming with my teammates and doing the mod model, I finally understood the structure of the cell membrane. The modules given to us this week as well as the PBL activity helped in increasing my knowledge about our cells, more specifically about our cell membrane and its structure. Studying the self-learning module, there is always a part in the lesson that made me feel confused. However, because of the PBL activity, the model helped me further understand the components of the cell membrane. The activity enabled myself to understand the importance of each component of our cell membrane and the function of each part. The model made by our group helped me to further understand the components of the cell membrane. The activity helped me in coping up with ideas that may reflect to the cell as a whole and how it functions. I learned that the cell membrane is found in all cells and separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. The cell membrane consists of a lipid bilayer that is semi-permeable. The cell membrane regulates the transport of materials entering and exiting the cell. Through the activity and with the help of my groupmates, I visualize and understand much better the topic about uh, the cell membrane. By performing the speed bell activity wherein we were tasked to make a cell membrane model, I learned about the structural components of a cell membrane and the relation of its structure and composition to its function. The primary function of the plasma membrane is to protect the cell from its surroundings. The lipids and proteins that make up the membrane allow it to be selective about what enters and leaves the cell. The cell membrane is very important because without the separation of what's inside the cell, and what's outside the cell, there could be no such thing as life. This is because an organism must be distinct from its surroundings. 